Hi everybody, my name is Steve Miller and I'm your professor for Intro to Sociology. And I'm looking forward to delivering this course and I hope you find something very important or valuable for yourself and your future career and perhaps just rounding out your experience and your perspective. Now there are some things that we need to review before we get started. So please watch this video. I know it sounds kind of fin funny for me to say that in the video while you're watching it. But watch it right through to the end, please, on this quiz, um, because there's a quiz found in week one. And you can see that on the screen right now. It's due by no later than September 23rd at 5 p.m. And it's based on the contents of this video that you're watching, plus your syllabus. So in this video, I'm going to highlight some important things that you should know that will help you to get started. Things like, you know, what does asynchronous mean as it relates to this class? And where are you going to find stuff in the Blackboard shell for your learning? You know, where do you find your syllabus, your assignment, uh, your journals? I will walk you through all of this in this video. Now to begin, let's go through what is asynchronous. Asynchronous just means that it's a course that you can take any time of the week and any time of the day. Now it's not the same as a synchronous class. If you go and take an online synchronous or in an in-class, you take it at a particular time and in a particular day every week with the same group of people. In an asynchronous, you set that up yourself. There is no one time that we all have to be together. You can take this when it's best for you. And I would really highly recommend that you take the same amount of time that you are given for an in-class or a synchronous class, which is three hours per week, and apply the three hours a week to this Intro to Sociology class. You'll need to pull out a calendar. It's best to use that. Uh, I've made video in the support video area where you can see how to make a, a use of your device calendar. And so it would be important to find the three hours in your week that you can put together for sociology. Now before I give you a tour of Blackboard Shell, there's something, a few things that we should know. Like I want to make sure you're clear um, that and how I'm going to be structuring this course so and using your sociology textbook. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin with things like let's get a handle on the sociological perspective and also get a hand on the sociological research to work as a foundation behind sociology. And then we're going to look at a variety of different topics that help us understand some of the conceptual knowledge that's found in sociology. Things like what is our culture and what does culture do to a society or socialization, how are we raised and what are the influences of that on Canadian society or looking at crime and deviance and what they are and how they're studied. Now we are at currently our entry point. When you log in, you'll log in and your entry point will look kind of like this. And we're starting at the entry point for sociology and you get to the announcements. Okay, now in this announcement you're seeing this test and as I mentioned it's due to, it will be closed which means it will disappear on the September 23rd at 5 p.m. And there's 10 multiple choice questions that are found in that quiz and they're based on this video and your syllabus. Now there's only two places where I will ask you to go at all in this whole course. One is how to contact me and the options and the other is weekly learnings and it's based on your syllabus. We're going to start with how to contact me. So we click on that and we get there I am. Now to email me you must use your Georgian College email as I will be using mine. Now, you have a Georgian College email account if you're a student, so you must use that. No personal emails will be responded to. The Ontario Privacy Commission does not permit faculty response to personal emails from students. It's your privacy that's being protected. Now, every email that you send to me must come with a particular uh, protocol. Now, it's important that you do this because I have about 200 students 
in four different courses of content for Gen Ed. So in order to keep you straight and answer your questions effectively, you need to fill the subject line in. Now in Outlook, you can't send an email without Outlook saying, oh, you haven't filled in the subject line, so please don't send it anyway. Fill it in. Put in sociology, I will know what class you're in. I need to know your first and last name. And I need to know which class of mine you're in. Because if I can't have that information, it's hard for me to answer your questions very effectively. Now, should you prefer, I will meet with you if you need to through WebEx or Zoom. Now, first things to do is email me with a request using this protocol, suggesting some times and dates that you're free to meet with me, and I will reply with a confirmation of one of those dates or times, or that date and time, and I'll send you a link to the meeting room and have that meeting room open about five minutes beforehand. Should you get there, we can then go and have the dialogue. Now, please include in your email also what your concern or question is so I can come prepared to the meeting and be able to support your needs. Okay, let's move to the second place that we have stuff, weekly learning based on syllabus. Okay, now this is where I put everything for your course content. The first folder I'm gonna look at is your syllabus and assignment folder. I've indicated what's in here, so let's have a look inside. Just click on it, you're going to see a PDF version of your syllabus plus a video. Now every time I put in a document, I will put a video supporting it to help you understand some of the content. So what you need to do, um, we'll look at for example um, the syllabus. I'm going to click on it, there we go, and it opens it up, and there's your syllabus. Now, there's a few things I should probably point out to you. One, there's your um, the regulations that you have to adhere to for extensions. We will revisit that a little bit later in this video. There's the protocol recommendations for emails and contact with me. Now, that is your textbook right there. And if you're wondering, yes, it is required. It's an important element about your education because your textbook is where the content comes from. My videos help explain some of that content. And then um, come test time, you can use the textbook as, a, as part of your preparation for test. During the test, you can check out where you've made notes and highlighted your textbook plus whatever notes you've made. Now the other thing I'll scroll down for just to remind you about the importance of a calendar. If we go down to test one. There it's open September 26th and it and that's at 8 a.m. and it closes September 30th at 5 p.m. So they're open for five days and when they're closed they're done. So if you go in to write that test at 530 on September 30th you won't find the link. It won't be there because it will have been closed at 5 p.m. This is why getting things put into a calendar is so important. Okay let's close that up and we'll come down to your assignment. Your assignment has a PDF, so please read your assignment carefully, watch the video, and if you've got additional questions, feel free to email me with a specific question that I can help answer for you. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, in addition to this, you're, you're seeing if you, it's a video assignment, so when we come over here, Screencast-O-Matic is the recommended website that I would suggest you use to record your video and to be able to create the video that you need for your assignment. So please watch this video. I walk you through how to set up an account with Screencast-O-Matic that will allow you to create a share URL to share your link so I can watch your video. Plus, you need to be able to put your script and your resources in as a PDF. And I have made a video on how to make a PDF document, and that's in the support videos. And we'll see that in a minute. But this is an important video that you should, re or should watch before you start the assignment so that you're not intimidated about making a, a video. This is actually fairly straightforward. You just make a PowerPoint. Um, with lots of graphics in it. You record your video, so the Screencast-O-Matic 
the software will record what's on your screen in your PowerPoint presentation. You speak into a microphone to your computer and the software records what is seen and what is heard, your voice, and that becomes your video. Um, there's your journal, again your PDF and a video that explains it. Now further down here, I've added this as just something you may find useful. It's a semester planner and it's just a way of keeping track of everything that you might use this as a way of tracking down what's due, when it's due, did I hand it in, and what kind of a grade did I get. All right, now that might be helpful. You may have another method for keeping track of what's going on. Now, this document here, this is your course outline. Now, course outlines are really helpful for you if you think you're gonna take any additional education at a different post-secondary school and maybe the part of the requirements is that you take an introductory to sociology, but you've already got one and you've maybe passed that with flying colors. So you want to get an exemption. They, they will consider an exemption for this course, but you need this document for them to compare their course and our course to see if they're equivalent. So this is something you should probably download and hang on to just in case. Okay. Let's now go into our support videos. I had mentioned them that I made some support videos for you. The first one I will go to, I want to, I'll, I'll reorganize these. These will, this will be at the top. This is the online tips. Now what I've done this is done it in three parts for you. There's the first part that is on time management and some resources and ideas on how to manage time in an online delivery, especially when it's a, a, a an asynchronous version. The second part is on strengthening your Wi-Fi connection. Now, I cannot fix your Wi-Fi connection should it break down during a test or you, you, get a, you, you get a drop signal. That's not something I can fix, I'm sorry. However, in this video I've offered some ways that you can strengthen your Wi-Fi or improve your internet connection for such things like doing tests or assignments. Now, I've also made a video on using your calendar. Putting dates into your device's calendars, well, it's very simple, but it's very useful. So if you're not quite sure how to do it, this video will help. This video here is on how to make a PDF document. Whether you use a PC and use Microsoft Word or use a Mac and use, Microsoft, you know, use um, Pages, uh, they both make PDF documents. And all documents that are being posted for me to look at must be a PDF document. So this is how you could use it. Let's see, what else do we have here? That's what I have in the support videos. Okay. Now, where I'm going to go next, let's go into week one. Now, week one is our first content week. Now, there's your quiz. If you remember, I'll go over to announcements. I have said that the quiz is available. If you click this, that will take you directly to the uh, quiz. I'm going to cancel. And then I'm going to go, I'm here in week one. Now, if I click on this, I'm in the same place. So this gives you that opportunity. We'll go back to week one. I've put the syllabus and assignments folder in week one as well. So there should be no difficulty finding your syllabus, your assignment uh, documents, and your journal. Now, what I'll do here just on the quick is just to show you. Here's an example video. Now, there I am now. Now, you're, you might find that a bit tiny. Just go to the full screen. Now, you may find that adequate for clarity, but you might want to just check to see that it says HD. And even if it does, just click it. And if it does skip a little bit, it's just getting into high definition. I am welcome to sociology. There you go. So that's how the videos are going to go. All right, so I hope that's helpful for you. Um, okay, now what I want to do here, I want to jump down to week, let's see, which week will I go down to? I'm going to go down to week 10. Week 10 is when your assignment is due. There we go. Week 10. You post your assignment here. Now, what you should notice is 
you have a journal four, a journal two, three, and a journal four, and a journal five. These are not the same as a video uh, assignment journal. However, I want to walk you through how to use the journal, both for your assignment and for journal two, three, four, and five. So let's have a peek inside. Now, there's the video for your assignment. And here, what you're going to be posting in here is your URL share link. It's the same sort of a link that you send to a friend when you found a video on YouTube and you want to show them. You copy the link and you send them the link. Screencast-O-Matic also produces a link that you can share the link with somebody who can then click on it and see that video. I need that posted in this journal, plus the PDFs of your script and your research. So you have them all ready. You're ready to post your assignment. So you go to create journal entry. Now this little asterisk orange here means you have to type something here. So you type in my assignment or you type in if it's a journal two, you can put journal two in. And then when you have your assignment you're posting here, you can copy and paste your URL into here. So you would just copy and paste it. Or type a few things, copy and paste the URL. And then for the PDFs that you have for your script and your research, you come down and you browse the local file. This will just open up a dialog box which asks you to find your PDFs and you can post them there. And then you post the entry. Now, if you're going to be doing any other journal rather than the assignment journal, maybe you're doing journal two or three or four or five, again, you must fill in this and you can type in your three paragraphs right here. Now, some people prefer to use Word document or pages. Then make sure you save your journal entry as a PDF. Come over here, browse your local file grab that PDF for Journal 2, for example, and post your entry. That will work just fine. Only PDF documents will be graded, okay? So that's essentially how you do a PDF, or sorry, a journal, whether that is for your um, assignment or for the journals that have to be done. Uh, journal 2, Journal 3, Journal 4. Okay, now the last thing I want to bring up, okay, and it's important, is that there are no extensions. Now, I say that sort of generally. However, the only way that I will honor and respect an extension request is when it comes through the disability office where accommodation letters will come to each faculty that as a student, if you've gone to the disability office, I have a disability or I have special needs, they will look at your documentation. After approving, a letter will go out to all of your faculty of what your accommodations are. It, when I receive that, I will email you indicating that I have received it, what the accommodations are, and that I will be doing it from the day I received your letter to the end of the semester. Now, for any other needs, you there are no... Um, Let's see, how can I word this? All other needs and all other needs in terms of extensions must follow the academic policies and responsibilities regarding test taking and academic integrity. That is both on you and I. There are no extensions without appropriate documentation. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to bring us to our entry point. And close by just saying, well, that's the completion of my orientation and walking you through where things are in Blackboard. I really hope this has been helpful. I'm looking forward to getting started with this semester with you all and really hope that you'll get all you can from this course. I mean, this course is about sociology, the social world around you. This should be something you have some familiarity with. So good luck, everybody, and look forward to this semester. Take care and bye for now.